kind of jot down like, okay, these people are in here, uh, you know, two minutes into the live or whatever, or five minutes into the live. And then you can kind of narrow it down when you see a pattern, you know what I mean? But I, I got to, you know what I mean? Like I'm going to need help to do that, but we can do it. We can do it. Well, you know, really there's no real way to uh, stop them. I think all we need to do is counter them. Like that video I made of Granny Coy's live the other day, it's kind of like my version of what TikTok does, right? The toxic TikTok does, right? Show clips, give my um, my like uh, rebuttal or my criticism of it. And you know, I only I only cover like eight minutes of that live, or maybe five minutes of that live. I have a fifty-five minute recording of that live. And I played most of it last night. They posted it on that toxic TikToks, but they cut it off right at the moment that Josh was about to go on his uh, pro segregation rant. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course they will. Hey, yeah, uh, fucking. Did you hear? Did you hear how fucking Alma saying that she didn't call me a Mexican? B i t c h. You heard that, right? <laughs> yeah. You heard that, right? Because yeah. now they're gaslighting me and trying to make me seem like I'm crazy and I, that she never said that. Por, por, eso, por eso la hermana Cici siempre nos dice, cuando vamos en esos lugares tenemos que grabar, tener, tener, tenerlo listo para grabar. Y la razón que ellos están listos porque ellos graban. Y nosotros no grabamos. Tenemos que estar listos cuando, cuando entramos a esos lugares sabiendo, sabiendo que van a decir cosas y ellos se sienten bien cómodos en las, en las, en las pendejadas que ellos dicen. Sí, y, y no es que graban y dejan de grabar. Es que graban todo y ellos cortan lo que van a ocupar. Right. How, how is there two monos in here? Mono? Are you watching on two devices or what? Yeah. Yeah, that's me. Right. I thought there might be someone in, uh, impersonating you. No, no, that's me. Hey, guys, how do I do this? I got a quick question because uh, you guys are pretty tech savvy. Uh, but, yeah, that's what's going on. Uh, but, but no, uh, they're, they're, they're gaslighting our sister. Uh, they're saying that she didn't say that. Uh, that Alma didn't say that. We we all heard it uh, today. I don't. Oh, I don't know if you guys were there, but I was there. And she said, "I'm here now. What you Mexican bitch?" Complete fabrication and full of lies. I posted the recording, and Alma did not say that. But once again, this group is trying to lie and create a narrative. And now she's denying that, and and Granny Coy is behind it, saying, "No, no, no. She didn't say that." You know what I mean? Um, but there and was toxic this one TikTok gentleman there. trends. Huh? And toxic TikTok trends is saying that they have a recording of it. And I said, okay, good. I said, post it then. Yeah, if you have a recording. No, they, no. Well, that's Granny. We all know it's Granny. Granny Coy's background on that live that I recorded. Yeah, we're not going to put that. No. She's using the same background again. She, yeah. You know what? It's actually funny because she, she changed it. Hold up. She changed it. He changed it. Um, it's, it says not only the white man, because the other one she had not the white hat man. It's, she said yeah. not only the white man, it's her own people and other minority groups. But the mm -hmm. one on Mateo's, it says not the white man. It is right. our own people. She said it is. Yep, she <laughs> changed it up. But she, <coughs> brother, brother, brother got smart, so he said shit. I'm tired. He said shit, yeah. I got this. This ain't getting deleted from my phone. Well, right, bro? I have a question it's for y'all. Right, the only reason why I caught it is because I fucking had to go to work an hour earlier than I normally do. So I woke up an hour earlier. And fucking I caught that shit while I was getting ready. I was like, oh. Do this you recognize this celestial person? Mm. Bring him up. Shit. Bring no, him I mean, up. do you see what it says? No. Look in the comments. What? Is that Neil? Look, that, no, she's talking about the screenshot. What's that say? Celestial B with the hard R? Like, she, like they're calling you a, a bean word, yeah. I don't know who they said that to, but um, 
I guess that was in one of uh, Granny Coy's life. But, oh, yeah. she, Thank you. you know, she wants to hold us accountable for the comments in our lives. But the minute I, when I asked her about it, she started getting all pissed off and be like, oh, I don't know what the hell. That was in the comments. That was in the comments. I said, yeah, but like, here's the thing. You're trying to ha hold us accountable for the things that like you were showing a bunch of uh, comments that were in our streams and trying to hold us accountable for it. But like, what about, you know, <clears throat> what about, uh, you know, this, like, you're not going to hold. Oh, and she also said she wasn't going to hold Alma accountable for calling me a Mexican B-I-T-C-H. She inadvertently um, admitted that she told me that in her other stream. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what she said? She said she's not going to tell Alma <coughs> how to react when she feels like she's being uh, attacked. She's not oh, going to tell no. her how to react. She's not going to tell her, her how to react to anti-blackness. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's okay. It's okay to say it. But but remember, <laughs> if we ever defend ourselves... Yeah. Okay. Who's Noah? Hold on, let me... Uh, yeah, it's one of my buddies. What's up, Noah? Hey, what's up? Hey, hey sorry, sorry it's, kind it's kind of a little, little bit messy, messy here. here. That's okay, I'm just listening. You know. I don't know, I don't know what, what's going on. I'm just <laughs> Okay, hold on, let me, let me make you bigger, Mateo. What's that? Hold still. <laughs> oh, sorry, this is a, this is a, a, a write-up about Marcus Garvey, right? Marcus Garvey is the guy who, um, he's one of the, like creators of pan-africanism right that you know the whole syndicate calls themselves pan-africanist and you know i i told people a long time ago like uh like choppa and whoever else uh and, and kit cow were trying to like call me anti-black because there's like you were in a pan-african live and you were talking shit to them and they're not even wobbles so that's that's how we know you're anti-black because you just talk shit to any old black person and i was like no uh pan-africanists are fucking are reactionary fascists they have a reactionary fascist worldview. They're anti-Semitic. They're racist. They're racial separatists. They're fucking homophobic. They're pro-colonialism. They're fucking. They're nationalists. Like just you know, just because they call themselves, so, well, I'm not a, I'm not a fucking, um, I'm not a, a Aboriginal or I'm not a Hebrew Israelite. There's lots of different ideologies that are that are fucking that are reactionary that are fascists. But they don't they don't all call themselves the same thing. You know what I'm saying? There's different names for different groups, you know, and Marcus Garvey is the father of Pan-Africanism. He's a, he was started the back to Africa movement and his whole idea of uh, Pan-Africanism was not just everybody that lives in Africa unite and come together. It was only black people who live in Africa. And we know there's more than just black people who live in Africa. There's Indian people, there's Asian people, there's Arab people, there's, you know what I'm saying? There's all kinds of different people that live in Africa, but Marcus Garvey wants to kick all those people out. And not only that, but he doesn't even see, like Marcus Garvey doesn't even see the indigenous black people that live in Africa as like equal to the uh, the American Africans, like African Americans, right? He sees that the American the African Americans are more civilized. And so therefore they need to go back to Africa to colonize it, take the colonial power away from Europe and then replace that colonial power with a black colonial power where they control and colonize the indigenous Africans and so-called to civilize them. That's their, that's his whole idea that he had, that they have to step colonialism is necessary to civilize indigenous people, including his own indigenous African people. Right? So like he wants to form a black bourgeoisie in Africa. You know, to to basically colonize other Africans, uh, like but there's like col colonialism isn't bad. It's just bad when when white people do it to other people. But if you do it to your own people, it's fine. You know, and I mean you could read right here. He collaborated with the Triple K. Um, there, it's just it's a it's a fascist movement, and they talk a lot of uh, they talk a lot of shit about. Um, liberation we want to liberate ourselves from from uh oppression they use that rhetoric they use that terminology that you see a lot of like civil rights people using and then like a lot of uh like leftists or or you know um progressives will use this sort of language when they're talking about you know marginalized people and helping them so like on on the surface level they don't seem 
like they're conservative. They don't seem like they're right wing. They don't seem like they're reactionary and, and, and racist because they use that language. But if you scratch beneath the surface and you actually study the thinkers and theorists behind their political movements, you'll see that they are just as bad as white tea supremacists. They're just black supremacists. It's it. Ah, uh, what do we have here? Just moments after being called out for their problematic antics, they're back at it again. The irony practically writes itself. Matteo, ever the provocateur, launches into another diatribe steeped in white supremacist rhetoric, twisting the essence of Pan-Africanism to fuel his agenda of chaos on TikTok, while Mano and Lorena feign ignorance, playing the roles of innocent bystanders. But here's the thing, they always end up proving my point. I'm not embellishing or twisting words here. This is them in their natural toxic habitat. Once more, we witness the irony of those who detest being generalized, yet freely engage in sweeping generalizations. Meanwhile, Mano is busy coddling NDN underscore boy in the comments, reinforcing his problematic behavior. And they tell, you know, these these pseudo leftists, uh, it's SJW, like fucking um, virtue signalers will tell you, oh, no, black people can't be racist. Nobody but white people can be racist. That's fucking stupid. It's, it's stupid. And this is right here. This guy and this information concerning him is proof that that's not fucking true. Yeah, maybe they're not in power, so they, they don't have as much power to impose their racism on you and and actually hurt you with their racism but pay, make no mistake they fully intend to if they were to ever get power so as you can see mateo is doing exactly what he has accused others of doing this group of individuals are master manipulators masters of projection and masters of gaslighting those around them you can see from mateo's rent that he is truly unstable as a person this is exactly what I have been pointing out with Mateo's behavior. It's clear he has some underlying mental issues. Trying to paint black people as black supremacists is peak white supremacist rhetoric. This is exactly the type of rhetoric that was spewed that led to the Holocaust. Hitler didn't simply start mass on the living people. He started with rhetoric like this that built into what it eventually became. And this is why we live in a system of white supremacy. The ingrained belief of black inferiority is displaying right now through Mateo's words. I've already shown on this channel how it went from the Weibos to the Pan-Africans to African-Americans, Africans, and even Africa. So you can see how this is an ingrained belief amongst these people. These are the red flags I've been pointing out all along. Society has taught you to carry this belief in your hearts. And they definitely are trying to get power somewhere, some way. If they can't do it here, they'll go to Africa. If they can't do it to us, they'll do it to their own. They, they want power. That's it. Uh, I just wanted to welcome Neil to the panel. Hello, Neil. I've been seeing you in the comments, and I like what you do. And it's good to have you up. <laughs> um, yeah, man, Neil's not afraid to call out anybody on their BS. Um, I've seen I've seen Neil in the comments. Um, totally has my back. Totally cool, awesome, chill. Um, but um, I was just wondering if you seen like those lives that I've been in today. Absolutely crazy. Um, and you know, somebody called me a Mexican B I T C H. And they're acting like they didn't call me that. And everybody else is agreeing with them. <laughs> no, it's only them that are agreeing. We heard it. I heard it. No, yes. And and you called her out on it. They're on the spot. It wasn't like yep. you heard a video. You said, hey, so I'm a, you're going to call me that? It, yeah, I said, so I'm a Mexican B-I-T-C-H now? Right. Yeah. You didn't say nothing. Yeah. No. No, nah, but she... She knew she fucked, and she was actually waiting for you to call her an African B I T C H. You know yeah, what I mean? That wasn't gonna happen. Yeah. You know? Yeah. No, you can't match their energy 
because then you know that's yeah. that's what they want you to do they want you to match their energy because they know that even even if they initiate some sort of like racist exchange that they won't have to be held accountable for initiating it only you will be held accountable for reciprocating it yeah, so it's it, it's, it's their tactic i will never i will never you know i can see how people are easily could do that on this app right you know like if they get called something and then they kind of like go back you know they, they shoot back but that's not me like i don't re i'm not gonna do that like our beef has nothing to do with what our skin color is or what our ethnicities are or anything of that matter you know what also kind of rubbed me the wrong way is like how you know granny was also saying like uh well it's the mexicans right it's the mexicans on this app who are being our word it's usually just the mexicans who are i said why do you have to say the mexicans like why can't you just say oh um it's this person it's that person it's this person no she said oh it's because i noticed that it's mostly people of a certain group who are doing that i'm like what the hell like people don't go around being like oh it's it's um you know what uh I, let's let's put any race in there it's it's them it's them it's them they're the ones who are doing the most they are the you know what i mean like come on. You, you're 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 was it was it called generalizing even, even one of the first people in the panel said okay you could that kind of could be seen as generalizing because it is generalizing you're saying that all the mexicans on this app are our word like come on Come on. You know, I kind of went on a paranoid, uh, like conspiracy theory rant on my live earlier about this and I got fucking reported and, but, um, like I see people like granny Coy, we don't know what her background is. We don't know, uh, what her, um, career is, what she does for work. I know she's never at work or at least she works from home or something. Cause she's always on live. Right. Um, I don't know how she's making a living doing this, but she's getting paid somehow. Right. And you see people like her, people like Josh and, and you know, uh, and now Port, Port's jumping on that bandwagon. Um, and, uh, you know, I know a lot of people here like BGP and, you know, I agree with a lot of things she says and she's clearly, she's beefing with Port, but even controlled opposition is part of this conspiracy theory that I got, right? Like she's a, a, a well-known, uh, creator right and port's a well-known creator so you get these two well-known creators and they're beefing with each other and they're beefing over um you know native people versus black people black people versus native people right and this is causing uh like this narrative that black people and native, and native people and mexican people hate each other and we don't get along right and i feel like all this stuff has been orchestrated as a propaganda fucking ex uh, a propaganda campaign to to prep to prep the american uh like collective consciousness to see mexican people as a national enemy right because mexico has been standing up to the united states lately and the united states has been getting real fucking mad about it and making some implicit threats and also this whole thing with uh their embassy being attacked and then they're no longer accepting deportees and they're also deporting americans this is this is all you know you know iran just attacked uh israel and fucking and uh russia and iran are allies and russia has been getting closer with mexico there's some chess moves on the board there's some chess pieces on the board that are being moved around and i mark my fucking words mexico is being targeted and mexicans are going to be targeted not just for like bigots online the whole the whole point of bigots online is like i said to reshape the, the the american collective consciousness to see us as enemies because they want it's hard for people to, to be okay with a war where innocent people are going to be unalived when you know those people and you empathize with them as other people because you worked with them or you lived next door to one you had a friend in high school that was one they need to dehumanize them in your mind some way somehow so that you'll be okay with them unaliving us i like to say it again you guys do not represent the Mexican community. In fact, none of you are actually Mexican. Mateo, you weirdo. Leave Mexicans out of your BS. You're whitewashed. Your mother is white. You married a white woman. You are now a part of white society. Call yourself Kevin going forward. Your inner white man is screaming to come out. 
I'll be damned if you try to drag an entire community into your BS. Why is it always the weirdos with no connection to Mexico trying to latch on to Mexico? That's what's going on. Yo, they if anybody to wants to, want if anybody opium, wants to want screenshot oil, this, they want the resources. Here it is. Um, this is Josh's live, and he put up, "Why do Lakotas look Siberian?" So, well, just, yeah, I caught that one at, too. If you look at our people, right? Why is it that we're the only people who our kids are literally in dog cages? Who are women, and and it's not just our people too, but our women are being put in these prisons and these jails, these uh, apparently holding cells that are supposed to be for a maximum of two to three months, and they're removing our uteruses, our ovaries, like they're making it so that we cannot procreate. The children, the thousands of children that were held in immigration, where are they at? Because DHS it willfully admitted that they didn't take account of these kids. These kids were illegally adopted. Where? We don't know. I'm going to crop this. I'll be right back. Good. Hello, hello. You know, <laughs> now I'm people back. want to Sorry. get mad because they're getting... Go ahead. Uh... Sorry, I, um, I'm just saying hello to everybody. I just had to like settle in for this most entertaining firsthand live <laughs> uh, recording. I, I think that Granny Coy is making money off of all of us and we're not sitting here suing for our rights and royalties when she's using our names, our images, and our private personas for her benefit. So, ¿sabes qué? I'm going to just start speaking Spanglish hasta que ella empiece a pagar, you know? It, it Eso sí, right. que me pague mi dinero. Eh, exactamente, exactamente. Hey, Singing Bear, um, we are being used for her rhetoric, for her racism, for her anti native, anti Mexican, anti everybody, anti brown people. Uh, you know, it's it's just absolutely ridiculous. Um, more and more people are calling out what the heck is the deal with the anti-Brown, anti-Chicano, anti-Mexican, anti-Central American, everybody, South American, you name it. You know, I, I propose that we start a petition, we start a class action suit and begin to collect on that money, you know, some way, somehow, there's there's a way that she's making money off of this because I work. I have to work. I have to pay bills. You know, I I do investments. I do everything that I can, you know, to put my little dollars away. And I want a peace of mind. I'm a private person. I never gave her permission to use my name, never gave her permission for any of that stuff. I'm not an actor. She might want to call me an actor. She's a pretending she's herself. A fucking doctor. Yeah, she's a I mean, pretending she's herself. A paid and I'm not, exactly. And I'm not a, an unpaid actor. You want to make me an actor? Okay, pay me. Actors in this country make top dollar from the world. So I'm pay sorry, me, legal. Who, who Granny Coy. Let me reiterate this for the record. I am not Granny Coy or Josh. Switching to Spanish won't save you, my friends. I understand every word. And as for the threats of legal action... Spare me the theatrics. Legal is no legal expert, despite what some may believe. And speaking of beliefs, let me enlighten you on a little something. Trying to amass a following online makes you a public figure, whether you like it or not. And as for the accusations of using your likeness? Please. With your cameras turned off, what likeness could I possibly be using? In this sandbox of the internet, it seems some are still struggling to grasp the rules. But fear not, for I am here to illuminate the way. What? Good night. Good night, Good night. Who are you talking about, Lego? No, he wants. I yes, I'm gonna. I, oh. I yes. Que yo que yo quiero compartir algo. A ver, dale. Eh, que yo quiero hablar por español. No, está bien. Porque, porque mucha de mi gente, y yo no estoy hablando de mí, muchos que son mayas, México, salvadoreños, que ya estamos cansados, que muy, ella usa el nombre de nosotros, 
sin conocer la historia. Y pues ahorita estamos de algo. Que no puedo que sea mucho. Pero que, que los otros quedamos unir para atacar a ella. Pero como somos copos, ella va a pagar pues, a muchos nombres que son de México. Y que Guatemala, Honduras y, y muchos países llegamos a casa por ella. Pero, pero ahorita estamos buscando gente que la apoye. Somos copos, pero ella va a pagar. Y, y pues aquellos que apoyan a ella, ojalá que se preparen, porque muchos indios, y no más soy yo, seamos mexicanos, Guatemala, salvadoreños, ugureños, ya estamos cansados de ella. No voy a decir mucho, pero estamos haciendo algo. Y ella va a pagar, usar el nombre que no conoce, la cultura. Y ella, según sabe, yo me quedo así esto. Thank you que, so much. Oh, sorry. Que pues ustedes no están solos. Pero como muchos de nosotros tenemos que pedir permiso a los antiguos an, an, antes de hacerlo. So, yo me quise eso, no más, porque no quiero que me quemen a mí también. No, no, ellos quieren decir que ellos los quieren quemar a los otros por decir que a los otros también los tienen que respetar. Nosotros tenemos boundaries y una cosa es tener eso y otra cosa es este, hablar con odio y con racismo. Y los otros nunca hemos hablado así para, para que ellos los digan que nada no, no ha pasado a nuestras personas es una mentira y para empujar esa, esa mentira y que mucha gente los empiece a creer son pendejadas, es ignorancia. Si ellos supieran la verdad de todo lo que ha pasado en México y en los países sur de México, hayan abrido los ojos. Pero como dijo Mateo, ellos tienen este, esta idea, ¿no? Donde quieren decir, oh, todos esos pinches mexicanos nomás están aquí, nomás quieren esto, nomás quieren otro, los quitan el trabajo y todo eso, y eso no es verdad. No es verdad. Entran aquí a este país muchas personas. Y en este país, todo lo que nos pasa a los otros, y también las personas indígenas aquí todavía sigue pasando de que están desapareciendo nuestras familias, de que están desaparecidos niños que adoptaron ilegalmente, que los tienen en jaulas, que ellos tienen una lista de personas y que no la quieren sacar para que las familias puedan encontrar sus, sus familiares y sus hijos. Son puras mamadas. Y ellos lo saben, pero en vez ellos quieren decir que, oh, que nosotros estamos tratando de esconder este, estos tipos de comportamiento. Y eso no es verdad. Correcto. 100%, brother. Um, I, I, I agree with him. Uh, there's a lot that people don't know up here that is, is just being thrown around like it's whatever and it's not. Um, if you are from a southern tribe, you are supposed to ask for permission to speak on, on your people. You are supposed to name the person that gave you permission from your community, your group the, to, to share. And there's not too much that we're allowed to share. I don't put up, you know, I don't put up videos of my family because of, of a reason, you know, 
And anybody up here that, you know, who is claiming a Southern tribe and you are not, you are not following the protocol, you are not giving who, who gave you permission, you know, you're a fraud. You're a fraud and, and disrespectful to your ancestors and to your elders. You know, there's certain protocol that needs to be kept and we ourselves need to make sure that we are following protocol from each other, you know. We need to ask these questions. We can't just throw around that information from everywhere. Two years, two years ago, I had to do it, you know, and I did it. And I only share so much what I'm allowed to share. What I'm not, I don't. And uh, we need to call it out, you know. Uh, another thing that Shorty mentioned that reminded me too, you know, outsiders are not. And there it is, Wasaduta, a white man, trivializing the horrors of the transatlantic slave trade in the comments section, with J.B. Good, under her Neil account, nodding in agreement. Two white supremacists finding common ground. This underscores the importance of calling out these individuals who masquerade as Native Americans online, carrying their white supremacist ideologies wherever they tread. They do not represent the voices of the Native community. allowed to call us Indios. I don't know why everybody thinks and is going around calling people Indians. If you're not from my family, if you're not from my tribe, if you're not in my community, you cannot, you cannot call us Indios. You call us natives or you call us indígenas, period. It's, it's bad. It's as bad as going around as, and calling us the ninja with the hard R word. That's how bad it is. That's how serious it is. Well, and nobody, nobody listens. That, like, 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 I'm sorry to fucking interrupt you, but you shouldn't even say that, like, because they're going to record that and they're going to make it. They're going to they're gonna clip it and they're going to make it seem like you're just flagrantly saying that word as in your, you know, like we we got we like Not. they have no uh they, no they, there's nothing holding them accountable and we're held to the highest standard. I'm not. I'm not. Let me interject real quick. Um, Wasu, we don't call people out of their names. We're here to educate people, not react to uh, to negativity or toxicity or to match ignorance. Yeah, no, I, I think he says that there is, I, I think up here there is a treaty on it. Uh, in Southern tribes, it is something that is respected nationwide countrywide the entire country the uh pretty much the entire continent because it's the same in central america like shorty said guatemalans hondurans colombians uh all of these native tribes all hold the same standard same thing with you know south south american countries their native people hold the same standard and it's a very very strict standard and nobody nobody's respecting that boundary you know, can I say something? <clears throat> Go ahead. So, uh, you know, this might be really hard to digest, but we got to realize that, you know, um, indigenous peoples participated in slavery as well. You know what I mean? So, you know, because, you know, I, I, a lot of people like to say, oh, you know, the, the Africans, they, they, their own people sold them. Or, you know what I mean? But, like, we got to realize that, you know, indigenous people, you know, same could be said for some of them, like, back in the day. Um, you know, it's we're not one group is better than the other, honestly. I mean, we have more in common than they might think. I, and not a lot of people are aware that indigenous slavery was existent. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, you know, you know and, and holding on to old grudges from before we were under siege it's silly, uh, it's it, silly. It, it really is just a weapon of the colonizer they use it against us and, I, and i'm not trying to invalidate anybody's uh you know f uh feelings towards their history uh you know people like i know there's lots of uh southern u.s tribes that have resentment towards mestizos in mexico because they did do fuck they they, they did fucked up shit and I'm not telling them, hey, hold my hand and, and say kumbaya and, and act like everything's cool. But for the sake of for the sake of like not being fucking even further erased, let that shit at least not don't let it go, but let it pause. At least pause that shit for now. You know what I'm saying? When we when, when Yeah, we're, these are yeah. 
Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's just weird. It's just weird to be like, oh, your people did this. Your people did that. So therefore, I don't like you. Like, what the f <laughs> it's, it's just weird. It's really weird. You know, I, I brought up BGP earlier, and I wasn't trying to uh, bring it up to like, um, you know, I know she says problematic shit. I agree with a lot of stuff she says, though. And she is uh, good at communicating the, the info, at least on video. She just kind of loses, flies off the handle in debates. But like the reason why I brought her up and I brought her up with Port City is because and this is back my conspiracy theory again, but they're both former military, both of them. And that's the number one population that intelligence agencies and consulting agencies and fucking the CIA and FBI, they pull from that population to use as operatives. They, it's historically true. It's what COINTELPRO was doing. It's, it's what the CIA does. You know, if you hear about someone with a former military career and now they're the, some sort of radical uh, political personality, be very on guard. Yeah, I mean, I mean, there's just so much going on, man. I just, it really hurts my heart because, you know, a lot of the time they tell us, you know, we need to hold our people accountable, but in the same breath, they don't leave, they don't, they don't hold their people accountable. Like we've been called being, you know what I'm talking about? Um, we've been called, um, you could, they've been called, oh, oh, WB. Like how many times, like how many times has, y'all already know the context like <laughs> how many times have we been called down this freaking gone for sick and nap like and then oh, wow. and they'll call us anything under the sun burrito taco like just it just really awful stuff and then and then they want then they tell us oh there's all kinds of uh uh all this going on in your spaces you know what i mean like but the thing i <laughs> it's <laughs> Dude, yeah. reciprocate though. <laughs> we can't reciprocate, and like, yeah, and like, like I, I don't say we can't. Of, of like, hold on, hold on, hold on, short. Let me say some real quick. I don't mean to cut you guys off, but okay. I just want to say this real quick. Um, we can't reciprocate, and I don't say that just because of the optics of it. I don't want, I don't want you guys to think let's not reciprocate because then they're going to record us and then make us look bad. We can't reciprocate because it's fucking wrong, and you don't make a right out of two wrongs, and. The reason why we battle with these people, the reason why we have a uh, conflict with them is because they're shitty. They're fucked up people. That's why they don't, they don't feel no guilt. They don't feel no remorse for when they say evil things to us. But you know, that's why we can't reciprocate because then we are bad people too. If we do where you're a bad person, if you reciprocate, even if, yeah, you had a moment of weakness, you lost your temper, but you, you got to try to fight to be a better person for that reason. You know what I'm saying? Or else, who are who is any of us to talk shit if we're matching that energy? We can never match it. Did you see this oh, one, um, um, Florette? Was... Sorry, go ahead. Oh, thank you. No, I, I I stopped saying what I was saying because he wanted to say something, but I just want to finish saying what I was saying. And as far as reciprocation, I'm not reciprocating anything. I'm making awareness. I'm not. No, no, I'm not, I'm not talking about you. I'm sorry. I'm not talking about you. Oh, I'm just in general. Okay. In general. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I was literally in the middle of something. I'm almost done, I swear. Um, I'm just making awareness. I'm not calling, you know, anybody names. I'm not calling anybody anything except for Granny Coy, who's called me out. So I'm just, you know, putting the information out there. She can do with it whatever she no, wants. You're doing good work. And, <laughs> and uh, I think that the respect needs to be returned. Uh, you know, if you are that type of person that is just going to call people from other countries, from other uh, ethnicities and other groups uh, names and you're you're going to insult and you're going to, you know, completely berate them for who they are, then that's you. But don't bring it on uh, other people's panels. If you're stepping up on these panels, don't bring it here. Don't. You know, it's very disrespectful. I've never gone into their panels and called them names and insulted them that way. I was insulted and I did defend myself and I didn't have to do it by using slurs or cussing anybody out. You know, that would not be in, in my people's way. And by the way, did everybody say hello to, uh, to Fidel? Hi, Fidel.
Oh, wait a minute. Fidel's not here. No, Fidel is not <laughs> part of our community. Fierra, Sister Fierra. No, <laughs> no, poor Fierra. No, do not insult Fierra. Yeah, Fidel is not part of our community. I really wish, Granny Coy, you would stop making up total complete lies. Oh, we were just saying hi. Lies. Yeah, exactly. Thank I you. Mean, I was just saying hi. <laughs> <laughs> you, did you say hi to Fidel that's not here? <laughs> no, that's he was crazy. saying Fiera, Fiera, Fiera. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> he was saying hi. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm done. I love you guys. Yeah. No, but I, I, I was like more so responding to what, what uh, Lorena is saying, how like they can say anything to us, but, you know, we can't say nothing back. Like, you know, like, fuck these people. I'll show them no respect. They don't deserve any respect, but we can't, well, no. we can't take it to a the racial place like they do. Yeah, the people who are coming at us, like today, like I was called a B I. I mean, I called somebody a B-I-T-C-H, right? And the reason why I did this that is because she asked me if I wanted the smoke. I'm sorry, Shorty, go ahead. I, you've been waiting for a long time. What's up? See, you want to know why by Native Mexicans and but in the mix, Afro-Native Beastie White. Why is that? First, we are not afraid to say how I feel. But this so-called Black Native, they are not claim my people. And that's coming from me. I was raised. If I found it, to my father's side. My mom, she's Afro Mexican. I'm not going to say who, because, because most, and my two brothers and, and sisters, they know who I am. But the reason we stay quiet, because they on our people. They all know our stories. Mm -hmm. They all know my mom Afro stories. They trust me. In anybody with my mom, they never show hate to her. Like you Mexican. You one of us. And this Money, but that was she is, so because Posea presume que es, it's a mentira. Yo tengo familia mestiada, y yo soy mestiado. Y mi familia, y mi familia que de Zacatecas, que son posonígenas. Nunca te enseñó odio a ella, como diciendo, ok, que tú tienes a mí, a Shori, que eres parte de nosotros y, y tú eres morena. Sea lo que seas, tú eres parte de familia, que no odio. En, 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 entre vosotros pero ella estaba en la basura y, y yo sé quién soy porque y, y yo no voy a mentir yo tengo tiempo que oh no is that Lorena encouraging more chaos between the black and brown community on TikTok Hmm, it's almost like I was right all along about your anti-blackness, Lorena.